Deja, Deja, shut up. We have to go live. You have to go live. Shut up, Deja. We're live. Lord. You never stop. Mommy's back. I'm going <laughs> to kick your ass. I'm going to stab you. I'm going to stab you. And then... I'm going to stab you again. How could you do this to me? Also, thank you to Nomadic Meat for for following as we were starting. There's a little Oswald thing that popped up. I should have, honestly, I should make my like $10 alert or whatever. Yeah, Juice posted a pig lying down. But I shouldn't make my one like my ten dollar dono alert like economic savings lessons. Economic saving lessons. I am so glad <laughs> there are ads on YouTube. Meat! Oh, I'm glad you two I'm glad I'm glad you Juice you made a friend! Oh my goodness. Anyway. So I mean me and Deja are both very excited. We saw the trailer and everything. That new like animated superhero project. You know the one I'm talking about, right, Deja? The one, it's superhero, blue and red. Starts with starts with an S. Every, everyone's excited about this one. Oh, oh, we're gonna... Adventures of Superman. Yes? Hello? Get my leg. Get my leg out the table. Hello, me. Sonic? Yes, Sonic. I cannot... Sonic! 
We're not gonna actually talk about any spoilers, but we did just see Across the Spider-Verse. I literally couldn't talk about spoilers if I wanted to. I'm still processing. My brain is on fire. Um, <laughs> but I got out of that, and like, you know, my friend o Okie Dokie was talking about the game show that just was going on. And I was like, oh, anything good? And they were like, new 2D Sonic. And I was like, shut your fuck. Shut your, shut your entire mouth. There's no way. And it went, they were, and there is way. Much way. So, very excited for that. But yeah. I'm gonna draw some Superman fan art. Why? Because fuck you, I feel like. I mean, because genuinely. This is, it's not a joke. I'm excited for Adventure of the Superman. Pixie cut Lois Lane. That seems great. She seems, she seems, listen, if, if they want me to be on board with more Superman stories, they gotta make Lois more likable for me. Because after Injustice, where he was like, I'm a Nazi now because Lois died. <laughs> like, I'm like, Clark, this bitch was not worth that much. You cannot be actually serious with me right now. He said time to terrorize. I know, honestly. <laughs> so, a after that, they get Lois Lane has a lot of goodwill to buy because it's Lois Lane, a lesbian. I mean, she could be. <laughs> no, there's a she could be bi though. Well, Pixie cut means bi. I, my only advocate for Lois not being any sexuality other than straight is that we don't need to give Clark more competition. You know, like when she doesn't know he's Superman, he's just kind of a loser to her. So with that in mind. Let's give Clark a break. If she's bi or pan, <laughs> he's pretty gay. Is he Jewish? They celebrate Christmas. Is he Jewish? He could be Jewish. But anyway. Also, I'm gonna draw Superman like he's in JoJo. Don't worry about it. Why? Because I draw everything like it's in JoJo. So, I draw Deja like they're in JoJo. Isn't that right, Deja? I could be in JoJo. You know, I could. Uh, so many of my friends get to use it. When you're on streams, I could use the LGBT tag, but I chose not to. Because I'm not here for the money, Deja. I'm here for the bitches. You're not trying to pimp me out. What? <laughs> oh, that's a good point. That is a good point. The only, again, I only have one argument for... I don't even want to say against it, but I was just... Because I was only thinking of, um the episode of Justice League where Martian Manhunter comes home for the Kent's Christmas party and they are very nice to him. So. Martian Manhunter deserves more justice. I think it was interesting because again, we're not talking about Spider-Verse spoilers here. But, um, because there's Kingdom Come which is a story I like a lot. Uh, that's, you know, Superman and everything. It's a bunch of the superheroes after they get a bit older time has passed they're all jaded now and Martian Manhunter is kind of there but he's like not nearly as big of a deal as he should be and I saw in an interview that the reason he's like you know kind of nerfed here is because he's just gone a little senile after having to go into the minds of a bunch of insane criminals he's, he's had it rough Deja's in the mind of an insane criminal all the time so they know what it's like. Deja, do you think you'll just be completely senile by the age of 30? Probably. Probably. Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Honestly, I was thinking I was thinking about this not too long ago, but honestly, I feel like Superman and Spider-Man are probably two of like the greatest superheroes ever. So, Deja is an insane criminal, exactly. What did you say? Do you want to say the incriminating stuff you said in the car, Deja, or no? What? The one thing about third parties. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know what you meant by that. All I um, say. It's ominous. All Are you sure you want to say it? You sure you want to give the FBI more evidence, Deja? Using <laughs> your roundabout methods. All to commit I said felons? Was. If I could harm someone as like a third party, like a third party, and I wasn't doing the action, but someone else, like you know, karma just came in and did it. But no, I would just, no, like... you're describing a hitman. <laughs> you're not describing karma. You're describing a hitman. That's the problem. 
You're describing the fucking cartel! <laughs> What's wrong with that? You want to turn that? I don't know. Go ask the cartel! <laughs> How cool do you think? Because, like, Agent 47 is listening, Zach. I should. That's what we. That should be the like game series we do together. Is I get you to play Hitman and everything. You'd go off. Um. Because, like, I listened to a podcast and they were talking about organized crime every now and then, and, and they'd be like, do you think they'll come after us? I wonder, it's like, how, do you think those guys, do you think enough of them are chill? I feel like some, a, 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 enough members of an organized crime syndicate have to not be just murder happy, because otherwise they wouldn't, that's not organized, that's just murder happy. Okay, well there's way too many, Deji, I, I don't know how to tell you this, your fucking Kirby choice is all I did was point out Kirby. I know, and I love him too. <laughs> and it's fucking plagued with ads. I honestly, I'd love to know if that's YouTube or not, putting ads in there, or if it's the person doing it. Because I know you have the option to be like, I'm gonna go eat in here, and manually put in the ads myself. Because no offense, but it's a Nintendo playlist. You did not make this music. Are you Koji Kondo, Deja? I don't know. Am I? Are you? Apparently that's a common name in Japan. It's either him or another Nintendo composer. Because then they went off and they made a band of people with their name. What was that just thing? <laughs> it's very comic, Zelda. Deja, do you want Z Tears of the Kingdom? I just got it yesterday. So. Things are coming up Cahill. I can't wait for it all to come crumbling down soon enough. Just give it time. Just give it time. Give it five minutes. Oh my goodness. I hope everyone's doing okay. Because Northeast North America is not. But I hope everyone stay. I mean, if nothing else, I hope that's what I can do right now. Give you a, a good enough reason to stay inside. Hang out forget about the world for a minute, because fuck that shit. Fucking smoky, it is. I would, because here's, here's what I want is, I will say one thing. I don't know if this is too existential for some of y'all out here. Because I saw, I remember I saw like one person joke about, haha, it's the end of the world. Yeah. Someone joked about like, because someone was like, this is what historians will write about in the next generation. And someone was like, haha, you think there'll be a next generation? And I was like, you wish it was that easy, don't you? Spicy Canada. You wish... Deja, don't. Don't laugh at that. Don't you laugh. Don't you have Yeah, there's... I, that's, a, that's more of a crime than the stuff you've been saying. But you wish it was that easy that you didn't have to deal with this stuff in 10 years, huh? Because the earth fell apart. Now, we'll still have to deal with it all. It'll just be, you know... Just, just rougher. You, so what we should do is care about it today. Care about it today, Deja. What do you even care about? What if I die today? Titties? I mean, that's... Please don't. You're my best <laughs> friend. Didn't you say that also before stream, though? What? It's I was like, gonna die? What if I want to die? Oh, yeah. probably. Oh, I did say that. No, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> There's just nothing but more, if not morbid. Honestly, it's no wonder you enjoyed our Disney trip so much, because your whole aesthetic is the Haunted Mansion. Your your ex, your Deja, your aesthetic is sexy haunted mansion. <laughs> like you just want a bit more titties and butt in there, but other than that, it is the haunted mansion. I mean, you're wearing Ghostface right now, and he's pretty campy in and of himself. If Ghostface isn't actively stabbing someone, he's more goofy than it. You know, look at that guy. Look at that little guy. There. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's what I was thinking of Pneumatic Me, because there was a one of those, there's it's not Arabic. I think it's it's Sumerian. You know, one of those Sumerian letters, which is carved out in um, clay. Dayton. It's too kinky not to be camp. Anyway. But yeah, it's one of those uh, Sumerian letters carved out in clay, because that's what they had. It's just clay and like stamps they used. And it was talking about how it's like, surely we're at the end of the world. And that was like 40,000 years ago when it was written. 
So it's like, yeah, we, we've always thought it was the end of the world. Everyone needs to calm down for a minute. What is it supposed to end in? 2016? 20, 2012. 2012. 2012. That's what I was just thinking of. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. If y'all could stop freaking out about the end of the world for... Listen, I get it. I get the the anxiety when you have plans later. So you're like, I can't do anything now because there's a time limit. I get it. I'm there. I don't know if that's autism or not, but it's something. Um, the tism. The tism. But I've been there. I feel you. But I, I assure you, it's not going to be for a while. So we got other stuff to do right now. Was a problem. I don't because <laughs> baby, but like. Yeah, I was also a baby. And Deja's younger than me, so. You're always calling me an old man. You are an old man. I am an old man. Me. Oh, I do want to talk about this. I don't know if you care, Deja. But, you know, I'm going to talk about it anyway. Uh, but I realize the Superman I like the most is from the uh, animated universe. Mostly because the animated universe is just one of the only coherent things DC has ever made. And it gave us Harley Quinn. So there's a there's something you can like for it, Deja. Uh, but like, yeah, like um, the Superman animated TV show. I think it's underrated compared to the Batman one. And I don't think Superman should be weaker than he is. But he should follow the laws of physics. Because you ever see a thing... Where Superman gets hit by something really hard, but he just kind of, like, stands there and everything. Superman doesn't, like, weigh a thousand pounds. He should be able to get moved back by something heavy. You know what I mean? He doesn't weigh more than a car, and thus, if you throw a car at him, he should get knocked around. He doesn't have to get hurt, but he should be pushed. <gasps> Hi, Stitch. Right? Then <laughs> to imagine capitalism. <laughs> what is that? It's a metaphor for capitalism. <laughs> Lots of spider people in across the spider verse. Very good. That's a juice was actually messaged me. It's like, okay, spill all the beans. What did you think of it? And I was like, juice, my entire brain. I need like a day. I need a day to think about it all. <laughs> Legitimately, I, I might have hyperbolically said this about some movies before. Across the Spider-Verse is like getting high in the best way possible. <laughs> it is. So the visuals in that will just set your brain on. This is all I've been saying. It will set your brain on fire for two and a half hours. We were in there. I asked Deja what time it was because we were in there for like 80 <laughs> minutes. And I was like, Deja, what? When did we get here? <laughs> it was like it, apparently, it's one of the longest studio animated movies of all time. And it, it flew by like it was nothing. I've been in 90 minute movies that felt longer than Across the Spider-Verse. Stitch is cute. Stitch is buff. Wait, Stitch, you better still have that thing in Pig's Discord. We need we 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 need to show Deja. It was up here. If you deleted it, I'll be salty. Gotta show Deja. They will have mass respect. Dang it, Stitch! You need to stop doing that. Be confident, Stitch. Show off your muscles. Muscles? Yeah, Deja loves muscles. <gasps> Hi, Laz! Oh, it's good to see you again, Laz. I do be loving a muscle. Exactly. Let's go to movie theaters. That's the thing. Because I was all for the fall of movie theaters when uh, the pandemic hit them. Just because I do think streaming is a great way to consume stuff. So m movie theaters can be a great novelty, but they shouldn't be the only way you ever watch movies, you know? I mean, same, Laz, same. Yeah. Like, one movie theater in a town is absolutely fine. Before the pandemic, there were like three. <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember that Deja, not too long ago, like a couple of years ago, when it's like, okay, what, what movie? It's not the movie theater. What movie theater do you want to go to? There are several brands across the block. We gotta choose one. And they really gouge prices. So, 
I think the people who make movies, unless they're assholes, not everyone, but you know, artists should should be able to thrive, but doesn't mean the people running the movie theater should be like, ah, oh, yes, $20 to see this film. And it's like, what are you providing? They're like, the film. It's like, yeah, but what about, what are you, why, why does it cost $20? Like $20 per person. And it's like, per person, per person. It's like, there's two of us, $40. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. One quality movie theater in a town, perfectly fun, good center of activity. Three is a bit much. Three, three, five. Might not need that many. Also, I don't know who else here watches JoJo, but you know what I just realized? Jonathan Joestar and Superman would get along famously. They, they would do great together. Your nose itched, Asia. Uh, you need to go. Did you? Were you rubbing against Oswald? <laughs> no, I were wasn't. You? I wasn't. I don't believe you. I just pet Oswald, and you saw me wash my hands, so I wouldn't die. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm happy to see everyone. I'm happy to see Deja. Deja, did you realize that today was the first time we hung out, like without a month passing? No. You know what I'm saying? No. Because we hung out two days ago. And now we're hanging out today, as opposed to when I was in Florida, and we hung out like w once every three months, which is far too long, and far too expensive. That that's understandable, meat, especially because that half that stuff is what makes it to the Oscars. Like the Oscars love to reward that stuff, but meanwhile they never bother to put it in movie theaters, which is wild. When you think about it, because why are you, what, what, Hollywood, why are you making such a big deal about this now as opposed to when it was making money? Oh, my phone is there. I need so many screens. Deja, get me more screens. There's the lighthouse, but did you see across the Spider Verse, Laz? <laughs> or meat? Oh no. This is what I, I'm saying. Because not to rain on your parade beat, but um, I do like movies that kind of have more of a narrative to them as opposed to the ones that are just sad. You know what I, mean? I don't think Lighthouse is like that, but when I, I've said it before when I was in. Um, I need to sketch out his face more. I try to, I try to make his face far too cylindrical. Have you ever tried to work out your jaw, Deja? Not really. Get get that chiseled chin. Is that why you have no bitches? No bitches? I was saying that in the car to them. Cause Deja doesn't play Fortnite. Oh my god. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Do you play Fortnite? No. Do you get the Fortnite battle pack? Yeah, don't be mean. I'm gonna be mean. Don't be mean. The last 15 years I okay me there I, I want to be completely clear here because you have a point there are good ones but when you're stuck in a room with a teacher and all he shows you are like five and you swore they were the same five movie in a row and he's like all of these are different artistically for different reasons and great, you can see how different they are. And I'm like, no, they that that was the same sad. I think that was the. Not only do I think that was the same movie, I think that was the same sad man in a row. But that being said, uh, sad black and white movies aren't the aren't aren't MCU. You know, they're not literally pumping out the same thing every six months. Not no, not even every three months, and being like a new masterpiece. And it's like it's not, it's not new, and it's not a masterpiece. In class six times. Actually, I haven't seen Requiem for a Dream. Wait, me. Let me ask you uh, this one. Because again, there are good ones. I want to be, I want to be completely clear. I'm not making fun of the type of movie you like. But this was my breaking point, so I want to know if you know it. 
Do you know a movie, it is in black and white, and it's about a son helping his father go across con uh, cross country um, to try and collect on a lottery ticket that the son doesn't believe is actually real and isn't a real lottery? Do you know what I'm talking about or no? Because that's the one they showed me in class, and I was like, I can't with this one. If you do, please tell me. I'm trying to remember which ones I liked. Honestly, me, I'm sure you could give me right because I haven't seen it, but that sounds familiar. Okay, yeah. Let me look. <laughs> me, I'm sure you could give me good recommendations because they should actually be talking about how much they've been reading now. Because, like, school will just kill your enthusiasm about stuff. I read a book a day before high school, and then high school gave me the most sh shit pieces of literature I've ever read in my entire life and I could and I couldn't do it anymore. Did you ever have to read Mice and Men? No. Is that good? <laughs> I'm guessing no. I honestly don't remember it mm -hmm. as well as I probably should. Do you remember Scorpio Races? Yeah. Yeah. That, Everyone hated that one I, but I liked that one. No, I and hated then everybody that. loved Legend and I hated Legend. I didn't like Legend either. But I hated Scorpio Races. No, I said it was black and white. So yeah. But no. Honestly, uh, I was surprised how many black and white films I liked. You know what's a sad movie I love? I love Moonlight. Moonlight's great. Didn't you show me Moonlight? I did, I yeah. did. That one's a bit Excellent. more... I don't Excellent. know if it's more high profile, but... Yes, I believe... Yes, yes, I believe that's it. Nebraska. Cause I got, cause we were sitting through that movie, and like I was like, there is, I don't think there's an actual narrative here. What? Guess who called me? Who? No, shut up. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> We've done this before. We've done this where your love life comes spilling out. Oh, don't you dare! I'm not calling your back. Okay, good. I'm just getting my phone because I'll do so. Deja's ex just called them on stream, so that was fun. That's yeah. hilarious. No, don't. That you you hilarious. know why you shouldn't, right? Oh, I'm not calling her. Yeah, you shouldn't. For so many reasons. Fucking Vanessa. Oh <laughs> Vanessa. God. That's hilarious. Yeah. Let me tell Kai. <laughs> Tim and Eric. He's in Tim and Eric? Isn't that funny? <laughs> Isn't that a funny show? <laughs> I literally checked my phone because yeah. I wanted to look up Nebraska and then I saw Miss Call. Honestly, me. If you have a good suggestion for, like, the movies I've just kind of described over the course of this conversation, like, one you're like, this is the best one. 2013. Then please do, please do suggest, like, and they're, like, on a, they're easily accessible, because, no, do not air out the drama, no, no, you will not pay, Juice. Juice is paying for your drama. <laughs> <laughs> but regardless, yeah. Because I like to give everything a chance. I definitely have my preferences, but... The fountain? That, uh, that sounds horrifying. But I, if, I, if I get a chance, if I can find it on something, then I will do my best to watch it. And maybe I'll come in, on here one night and be like, Guys, the fountain fucking rocks. Want a synopsis? Give me, like, a, a, a one-liner. Like, give me the elevator pitch. Do not spoil anything. Just, just a decent short, accurate description of the movie. It sounds like a horror game, if I'm being honest. But it's both not a game, and it might not be horror. There is a fountain. <laughs> thank thank you, Laz! Yeah. I do want to say this, because it, it's only very tangentially related to Deja's Dirty Laundry. Um, is that we watched... Because this, I want to be clear, this is not good film. This is not good cinema. But we were watching a dating show on Netflix. Netflix probably has too many of those. Um, in fact, Netflix has very little in way of good cinema. Um, Would you ever go on a dating show? Not seriously. You know what I mean? Like, I would not be able to actually be like, I'm here to, to find, find my love. Uh, exactly. <laughs> 
Hugh Jackman. Okay, well, you. So you're telling me there's a black and white sad film and Hugh Jackman's in it? I'm already sold. You know who I got Hugh Jackman confused for all the time? Who? Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, that makes sense. But Robert Downey Jr. I think is like much smaller. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's smaller and skinnier. He's like he he's like Hugh Jackman after he gets hit in Mario and then he shrinks down to Robert Downey Jr. Did I tell you that I changed her contact name? No. Don't say what he did. I don't want to. I don't want to blast not, her. It's on. Not, no, it's not. Mm. It's just like three warning signs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Honestly, you should delete her contact. But I'm not getting into the lesbian. <laughs> Oh, it does sound pretty good. I imagine it's that I, you know, I could, I feel like I could make a bet with you on what the ending is going to be. But honestly, if I find it, I will watch it for you, me, because this is solely on their feet. Why? I do not judge people on their feet most of the time. How busted are their feet? Feet for free. Feet for free. Who? Whose feet? Give us a new bunny pick. I'm okay with that, honestly. Honestly, one of the things I love in, um, any, what was I thinking of, in a uh, film is, like, different experiments in sto storytelling. I hate that I have to send this picture, but, um, it is Oswald and his little pen, solely because he, he's been out a lot of the day, but my mom would throw a fit if I left him, you know in the thing left left him out on the floor the entire time but it's cute because he just flopped over and he's 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 taking a little rest right now he's very happy one second don't do anything weird into the microphone that's probably way too close you're going to blow out someone's eardrums <laughs> and don't breathe into it maniac hear my breath yeah yes yeah cut it out I, I, stop it <laughs> absolute <laughs> no one can see it but me but Dej is just like getting up on the microphone <clears throat> fart into it no that's on Deja's only fans excuse me yes yes I have to agree me and Again, I would love my bunny to be for your own, but unfortunately I don't have my own place. Otherwise I would have a bunny room, but I let him out into my room when I am around and thus, you know. Uh, desktop. This one. And is it going to be far too big? It is already far too big. There he is! There he is! He's just flopped over. He got very. He, he's made his own little. This is like his bed, basically. When he's not out and hopping about, and I have him in here, he'll flop down in here and get all comfortable. He'll play with those little bells next to him. He's very. I love Oswald. That's a bunny. I came in today. Best thing. Best thing. I came into the room today, and Oswald started honking. If you don't know, bunnies honk. That's the sound they make. They go. Hur, hur. They, they basically just sound... If you want to know what sounds bunnies actually make, it's basically a Minecraft villager, actually. Actually, for real. Um, yeah, I came in and he started running in circles and making little honks. Where's the picture? I mean, I'll bring it up again. <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> Wait! I was walking my pet rock! Yeah, exactly. They are very cute. They are all the Squidward noise. They basically are. So, them flop. Yes, they are flopped over. It's adorable. I love Oswald. You know, listen, I can get if people might criticize my bunny parentage to a degree. Um, but what you will not judge is how much I love Oswald because the answer is the most. So, what's the goal for? Um, because I'm... Because I want to not be... <laughs> Actually, stop. I'm afraid you're going to make it like the stream unwatchable for With someone. Me? Yes. Unwatchable? Yes. Oh my you're going to yell goodness. into the microphone. I wouldn't yell. I don't yell. But yeah. I mean, I'm ba the answer, Shadow Mage, is I'm basically trying to make streaming a part-time job. 
So. Why'd you put it over there? What? I said, why'd you put it over there? I don't know, because you're being a whore, so I took it away. A whore? Yeah! How is that being a whore? Stop yelling into the microphone! A whore? Stop threatening to yell into the microphone! It's I an awful thing! Threaten anything, I just got close. Uh huh. So yeah. I, I said it when I streamed my on my first stream back, but no pressure at all to do it. But you know, if you're like, I like Cahill streams, and I would like him to stream more, and often and consistently, then consider supporting it. Also, we use um, the Patreon as part of it. So if you're sub to the Patreon, you've already helped with 1% of a goal. Congratulations. But me, I want to say, I think my... I, I'd look into it, obviously, but if and or when I get a next pet, I might want to Flemish a uh, giant rabbit because... I love a rabbit the size of a puppy. That sound. Hello? Hello? Holy. Oh my. Oh my lord. Thank you, me. Okay. Yes, I didn't. I didn't say it right now. But also, when we reach a hundred. Uh, that is. That is. That is. So much of the goal. Thank you so much, me. When we reach 100%, we're going to do a special, super long stream uh, in the following month. Uh, at which point, and, and my idea was like, oh, I'll let chat like vote on what we're doing for that. But I have some special ideas for it right now. And the first special idea will be with Juice. Juice has agreed to help me with an awful, awful idea that I've promised not to repeat on. Deja, would you like to hear what it is? <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. They, it's just, I, I gave them, I gave them multiple... I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Wait. Okay. Oh, no. Well, that, who just did that? <laughs> probably Shadow Mage. Well, we hit our goal. Wait, is that at 9... 99.99? <laughs> Legitimately? <laughs> oh. Well. Eh. It says 100%. So now I have to do it. Juice, we have to do it. No, it's... A, the bar says 100%. If someone wants to drop a bid, then 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 I'll appreciate it. But thank you, everyone. It means a lot. Oh my! What? 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 Oh! 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 Wait! I re oh I replayed I replayed their donation. I replayed their donation. That's my bad. Oops. Yeah, no, that's my bad. I made a mistake. I don't know. I don't know when this is gonna stop. I was trying to look at the donations and I actually pressed it. <laughs> Meat, don't. <laughs> Meat, I found your bank account. <laughs> no. Oh my lord. Are we good? Are we? I'm gonna. I'm gonna refresh real quick. Meat is just going. No. Yeah. Exactly. No. Meat, you are fine. I assure you. That was just. That was the alert. Not your. Not actual money. Oh no. Technical difficulties. Okay. Anyway, thank you guys. We have reached our goal. Me and Juice will be doing the incredibly cursed stream. I guess we'll figure out a date and everything to do it. It'll be at the start of July. Uh, take me a while to notice. Damn. Damn me. Big money. I mean, yeah, honestly, good for you. Select it. Immediately <laughs> subscription, but anyway, so yes, we're gonna be doing that. I don't know if Juice or anyone who was at the stream where we came up with the idea wants me to say what we're going to be doing on that. I think it actually might be best to leave it until you know the day of, because Lord in heaven. Let me just if I don't, Deja, do you have have you ever seen a video like that, like the concept that I described, or no? Like, do you know anyone who's done stuff like that? Similarly, I feel like. Yeah.
The fuck? I don't know. You're the one- You're the person who loves to use, uh, pseudonyms. Shadow Mage. So. I'm trying to- How does a forearm look, Deja? Muscle. Yeah, I think you're just describing your own, actually. These bad yeah. boys right here. Never get it. Yeah, no. I got on it. No, the reason I was saying damn me is because, like, good for you. See, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be like, I don't need to... I, I don't need to be rich. I just need to not always be worried about money. Or have my parents worried about money. So, I mean, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm literally just going to go to my family and be like, I made $100 in two days. Say nothing about it ever again. So, that, that's the main thing. I appreciate y'all. It is gonna be a monthly thing, so don't worry about blowing your load on the first one. Blowing your load? Yeah. Yeah, I'll it's a good- Blow my load. Um, you need to go to a <laughs> mental hospital. Anyway, I appreciate all of it, and if we find a good- Sounds like sex work for money. Exactly, exactly. So, I appreciate y'all. I cannot say it enough. Um, honestly, if, if there are any more, I'm trying to think. Because, like, maybe we'll just... Maybe I'll just make sure I have a day clear for it and any more donations will be used to increase the timer. Because right now, the idea is, like, it's a minimum six hours. So... No, no, not that stream. <laughs> I, let me say this. Just just to give you guys an idea of what you bought. Um, also, I need a picture of a muscle man. Um, me? Yeah. But anyway. I just left it at that. If you want to send me a picture of your muscles, I have no problem with that. Um, you have every photo I take of my muscles. Good. <laughs> but anyway. Let me just... Stream for 50 hours. I'll, I'll cap it at like 12. You know? Like, I will do a cap, and also I don't have a system figured out, so I don't want you to be like, ah, I've donated $200. What does that get me, Cahill? Ah, fuck if I know. I want longer. I want. Oh, you want longer, or you went longer? Don't. Uh, what are you laughing at? You're laughing I was at something about awful. To make a joke. No, you better not. You bet. You I better mean, not. I knew you'd hate it. So uh, I just yeah, laughed. I would. So I just laughed. Cost <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Cause like I. That's the thing. Me. I'm still planning on getting a part-time job. I'm not like. Yes, everyone online, support me through my life for the anime ring. <laughs> I like you imagine someone just imagine that just like came across like the window. Like you looked outside and you're like an anime rave. But anyway, I'm not trying to have it be like yes, Twitch, support me through my entire life. I'm just more so. I'm being like. It's keeping me from getting pressured into doing an extra day of work or whatever, you know? Not having to be like, ah oh, yes, I will spend 50 hours a week at this job to live, to live somewhere, to please my family. Let's import the muscle man. <laughs> you know who else likes to import the muscle man? My mom. I can't do a good impression. Do you ever? <laughs> Slimy, yeah. yeah, I'll do a good impression of Deja. Hey, do, 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 do. I don't know why you're Swedish chef, but you fucking are now. How does that, how does that feel? Feels bad, doesn't it? Oh my god. That shit was rough. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because, yeah, the reason I was like, I'll cap it at 12 with Shadow is because, like, A, that means I do have to clear a day for it, and B, that is me being like, hey, everyone, I won't be available 
all today. All of this day, so that would be a lot. Bullying his guests. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm a, I, I love chat and I shit on Deja. I don't know what, what's difficult to understand about this. I'm literally just here. Yeah. And I'm being attacked. Yeah, you were attacking stream not too long ago, so. <laughs> just because I was the only one who could see it doesn't mean it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. That's not what a is like. The shoulder is that just the entire term for like the muscle, the bone, all of it, or is it just like the muscle or just the bone? I got called cool. Look at that. I mean, you are cool. I bully Deja because I'm always punching up. You know, <laughs> I'm I'm not I'm not like a. I'm not making fun of someone who is lesser than me. Deja is objectively better in every way, so. I'm not. No, that's why I'm doing it. The joke is that Deja is amazing. So, me bullying them is completely unnecessary and unwarranted. So, light would be coming from this side. So. I mean, let me let me do light real quick. <laughs> Being self-deprecating on here. Everyone is taller than him. Not accurate, but the other day in a conversation, I I, I made a quote-unquote joke that Juice was short, but Juice is about as tall, if not maybe even a little taller than me. To be clear, I'm not that height matters all too much, but I'm not that short either. I'm like middle, honestly, maybe. Um, but Juice was like, you're short. And I was like, Juice, I assure you I'm not short. Um, and Juice was like, yeah, I'm short. And I'm like, Juice, you are also not short. I mean, short in and of itself is a fucking, you know, relative term. But neither of us are short. I'm short. You're short. <laughs> I'm Martin Short, famed comedian. Yeah, this right here. Y'all see this? That's what I need. <clears throat> I'm really into forearm muscles. That's my kink. I love a good forearm. Hello! Foot fetish artist! I like you to draw me a picture uh, of someone's hands! It's time for me to go. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. I'm surprised you think you can leave. Deja, are you excited for a haunted mansion with Danny DeVito? Danny DeVito! Do you think it'll be a good movie or no? Who would I do? Six foot? I would not say under six foot is short. Maybe under like... I want to say under 5'10", honestly. No. Because that's not short, that's like average. You're just not tall at that point. Daisy, you're four, you're five four, right? Yes. Yeah. That, that's probably short. I am short. Yeah, he's just small. Minuscule starts at five four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now who's bullying the stream guest? <laughs> Unwarranted. Deja's tiny. Deja is tiny. Oh, I forgot. I wanted to draw the where the line, where the art, the lights coming from. It's coming from here. Lights coming from here. I saw a drawing tip not too long ago, and it was like to draw from the lights perspective, and then you'll know where the shadow is. But that would require me to just like actively know how lighting works, and how to draw from a certain perspective so not exactly a beginner's tip for being real are you just i'm not gonna ask what you were just doing oh yeah you know what i do want to say just since we've been I've, I've been fighting off both sides since since the for for a minute now um not spoilers for spider-man across the spider-verse but just like general spidey knowledge 
Miguel O'Hara is a whore. Miguel O'Hara is um, the worst, but everyone, I think most people who know him already knew this. The way he's built is how I think I look. I feel you need to be. He's wide. I know he's, he's a wide. Bird. He's a bird. I like to think that I'm wide, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not wide at all. <laughs> You're, but you, you do look like a JoJo character. I'm not gonna lie, but what? But like a JoJo character in the later parts where they're still super toned, just like skinnier. <laughs> it's like heart, I, no juice in a bad way. He is the Spider-Man without cum. He is Spider-Man against his will, and not like everyone else is Spider-Man against their will. Spider-Man against his will because he's like, I don't do jokes. He, Miguel O'Hara should just be named Bruce Wayne because that, that's what Batman would be like as a, as a Spider-Man. And I'm not saying that as a good thing. Some people really like to jerk themselves off the idea of Batman. I'm just going to say it right now. I drew on the wrong layer. I hate art. Hello? Me to Miguel. I mean, you should probably get some of the comics, Juice. Because, like, he's cool. He's He's been a fan. Because Miguel predates all Spider-Verse stuff, including Miles. He, he was, like, an idea from the 90s. Uh, he's been around for a minute, and he's been a fan favorite for a minute. He was he was in the hit Spider-Man game Shattered Dimensions, and I think there was another one. There was another one that was like Shattered Dimensions, and he I think he was in that one too. So, but yeah, he's very grumpy. He's like, oh, I don't, I don't like being Spider-Man. Oh no, better better not make me be Spider-Man. Oh no. That's what he's like. That's what he sounds like. So, anyway, yeah. I was just going to get back to the idea of some people really like to jerk themselves off with Batman. Because I, 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 I'm pretty sure most people have seen this. They're Jews. Now you're getting into slight spoiler territories. But yes, he is an incredibly sharp Spider-Man. That has also been around for a long time. He will quite literally tear you to pieces. That's all we'll say about him. Um, I think most people will know what I'm talking about when I say there's this one post where it's like, would you rather, what would you do if you woke up as Superman? And someone was like, go back to sleep and wake up wishing I was Batman. And someone's like, yeah, because being an orphan is so much better than having superpowers. And, and they're right. I, I think DC always making so much Batman stuff is honestly to the character's detriment. Because sometimes he stops being cool and he just starts being an asshole. You know what I mean? Deja knows what I mean. Because he's in love. She's in love with two people he beats up all the time. Two? So, yeah. The two are you counting? Harley and Ivy. Oh. Am I wrong? He's punched them. Ivy down. No, I, I was like, I was surprised you just left it at the two of them. Uh, I mean, yeah. Well, you're in gay love with them. You like all of Batman's rogue gallery. You're in you're in lesbians with Harley and Ivy. You just like Two Face. I'd heavily. <laughs> I, oh no! Very bad. I feel like my goal if I woke up as Superman would be like, no one would even know I'd have I'd had had those powers for a day, you know what I mean? It's like I had just flown around the world as fast as possible, fixing everything I could find, and then the next day people would be like, "What the fuck happened?" And would that end well? I don't know, but if you had powers like that, would you just be like a cool guy with powers, or would you actually try to be a superhero? Me? Yeah. I mean, I would do what I just because again, if we're if the if the premise is, I know I am Superman and I get it for twenty four hours, then I would I would literally make myself a little starting race line, and I and I would fly as fast as possible, 
punching every Nazi I found around the world. And by and by the end of the 24 hours, they'd be in space. Well, I was thinking more instead of like 24 hours, like a whole lifetime. A whole lifetime? Yeah. Then, then I, I feel like I'd, I'd spend a good amount figuring it out because there is, because while I don't like Superman stories that do this, there is a legitimate, you know, thing of like, okay, so do I take over the world and try and fix everything, or do I just kind of like solve crimes, you know, <laughs> on the level, so. I, I do feel like, to a degree, I'd leave some awful people alone, just because I'd be like, you're not actively doing anything that bad. You're just kind of a dick. So, whatever. I got bigger fish to fry at the moment. Uh, but the people who are immediately causing actual harm, I'd be like, okay. To the, to the moon with you. Goodbye. You're going to space. And we wouldn't hear from those people again. I have a short list. Like of people, you know. I know, I know are big in the world and cause issues, so. I, I imagine they'd be pretty easy to find up front. Yeah, exactly. And then after that, then it would just be like local crime. Like, basically, what I would do is I would work on a big enough scale to the point where we get to, like, the DC Animated Universe, you know, where we're not dealing with things like fascism, etc. And then at that point, then I would just be, like, regular Superman. Just being like, okay, stop robberies, you know. Very tiny stuff. Make sure people don't hurt themselves. There's a lot of big problems to fix first that, you know... You don't gotta take over the world to solve, but need need a decent amount of intervention to to get rid of. I do not know what that who that is. Pneumatic me, but all the power to you. Quite literally, a Superman. So I still need to work, because if you follow my stuff or are on the Patreon, you know Alex. He's the guy in most of my emails. And I made him based on, like, the idea of Superman. Because everyone's like, Superman can do anything. And I was like, Superman can't make a smoothie magically appear out of the air. And I was like, okay, so I have to make a superhero that can do that. That's Alex. And I, what I need to do is, like... And that that's why I have the goal. Because ideally what I would like to get to is a point where I'm making enough regular money off a of stream. Where I can sit down here, maybe, like, once a week and just work on a comic page that I want to make. Uh, for my for myself, not even necessarily for the Patreon. Uh, the orca teaching other orcas to flip over boats. Oh, that's amazing! Absolutely, high five that orca. Um, no, that's that's the main. My, I mean, Deja, could you ask me what my main goal is? What is your main goal? My well, my main goal <laughs> is to blow up and act like I don't know nobody. Nya 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 nya. <laughs> He, you know, Deja, you know what I think of that guy as? What? You know the video of the lady dancing in traffic? No. With the... Oh, oh, Yeah, okay. that one. <laughs> I think of them as the same thing. Because if they're real, if those are real people, they've altered their bodies to an insane degree. And it's funny for five seconds. But when you have to think that they live like that, that's wild. <laughs> He has, like, steel teeth in that video. That's probably a grill, but still. Disturbing. I want a grill. You want a grill? Yeah. What it, yeah I mean, is your main goal to blow up and act like you don't know nobody? I mean, no. No? I, mean, I like I don't know nobody. I hope everyone's had a good day, you know? I feel like, and, and I hope this is a bit of optimism for everyone, but like, you know, those wildfires are happening and stuff like that, and 
it was what I was saying before about, like, the world isn't going to end. And, and you know, it's bad it's happening, but people will all get through it. We'll, we'll all get through it and be on the other side. So you can all, really only take things one at a time. So with that in mind, it's like, yeah, it sucks it's happening now, but as long as we can all be safe and understanding to each other, then it'll be fine on the other side. And again, to the people who aren't understanding, to the moon with them. I will, I will, I'll, I'll take them by their lapel. I'll, I'll, I'll pat them off. I'll pat them off. Hoist them by the collar up to the moon and place them down on the moon. And they'll probably be fine after that, right, Deja? They'll probably be fine. Wait, Juice, are you in chat still? I have a question for you. You might not know about this. But I'm, I'm curious if you do. It's a science question. Moon time, sucker. That is a problem, right? Because because if I was Superman, I was like, these people need to go somewhere. I can't just put them in a prison. Because people will be like, well, we have to let them out now. And I'm like, no, you do not. But anyway, Juice, is there... Could there theoretically be a pocket of oxygen dense enough in space that I would be able to breathe in space? Or is that a physical impossibility? Physical as in physics and also for the human body. Moon <laughs> grave. <laughs> you know? In the infinite vastness of space, could there be pockets of breathable gas? Or is it just absolutely not? I know it's hard to find stuff in space because it's dark out there. Did you know space is dark? Need something to gravitate, like a planet. Yeah. So what you're saying is, it is impossible for oxygen to pool together as like basically a space cloud. There are, Deja, there are, Deja Juice, there are in space clouds. I want space, I want, oh, I want space clouds. Oh, mom, can I have a space cloud? You can't breathe on Jupiter, right? Probably not. That's not oxygen. It's not oxygen, and also it's enough to crush you, so whether it's oxygen or not, it kind of besides the point. Space cloud at home. Damn it, I don't want space cloud at home. Are very unbreathable. Good to know, good to know. Okay, that answered my question. Listen, I could ask why they are, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because I'm not going to get there and I'm not going to try and breathe them, so... Y'all remember the fucking episode of Magic School Bus where Arnold took his helmet off? Daisy, you remember that? No. You don't know. You don't know. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Everyone has to stop now. Everyone has to stop now. We have to stop now. Okay, where is it? Fucking. This is not a drill. Oh wait, I do have a window. Where's my window? I, I'll find, we'll do window capture too. Where is it? Where is Firefox? There it is. Okay, and then shrink it down. Don't worry everyone, I don't have porn on this thing. That's you on sure? my, yeah. I, I'm a classy man, Deja. Classy? I, I have two. I'm a classic man, just like Bruno, Bruno Mars. Like Bruno Mars? What? Just like, just like Juno Birch. Don't be transphobic. If y'all don't know Bruno Mar Bruno Birch, Juno Birch, I'm, I mess that up a lot. Yeah, that was uh, really bad. I'm a, I'm a mess. Okay. So, oh, I put behind the art. Okay, okay. We have to show this to Deja. Deja, put on... Oh, wait. This won't get me... Oh, well... Oh, poor... Oh, oh, we found the porn! Oh, no! I love people without skin. <laughs> Just shave it right off. Okay. I have to find the clip and then... This probably won't get me copyright strike. 
takes off his helmet. The fact that it's the first thing. <laughs> Arnold from Magic Cool Bus Stop. You have to watch this. We are. This is your blind reaction. <laughs> okay, ready, Deja? Put this on. Okay. So, Deja, the plot of the episode, because you, you know the Magic Cool Bus, right? Yes, I'm aware. Okay. So, the plot of the episode is that Arnold, because Arnold was never on board with it, right? He's always, like, scared. Mm -hmm. He's brought his sister to school, and they decide for the day they're going to go out and explore planets. Mm -hmm. So, like, they've been going to the planets. And she's just kind of being a bitch about the whole thing. Like, she's very rude about it all. And even Arnold, who isn't into it, is like, you're not impressed even a little bit that we're, like, exploring the solar system. So, now they're on Pluto. They're at the end. And he's had enough of it. Okay, put on the headphones. We, Me and Juice watched this when we were, like, five. Can you hear it okay? And he just dies! <laughs> and then they leave! That's it! And like, he's fine later, but he just dies! I don't know! <laughs> exactly! <laughs> and you're like a kid watching this! Oh my god. <laughs> she like screams. <laughs> they put that in a kid's show. Uh. Okay, we'll move back. We'll get back to the music now. Any time, any time, Laz. Okay, yeah, I just have to show that to you. It's wild that they made. I mean, there's a couple wild things. We were actually talking in the, um, in the car, because Deja's into horror, and we were talking about art stuff, because they're like, I want to make art. I was like, neat for you. Uh, I said that exactly. I said, Deja, neat for you. Um, and like, I mentioned like animated horror, because I was talking about how uh, animators are typically made. I was, I was quoting someone about how animators are typically trained to be aesthetically pleasing. But there are legit singular episodes of random kids shows that are horror. You know what I mean? Do you have one you can think of specifically, Deja, or no? That Spongebob episode with the butterfly? Oh, yeah. No, yeah. That's like... I feel like that's a, le that's a lesson in like how to do a jump scare well. Because it is a jump scare. But the thing that makes it work is we know what a butterfly is. <laughs> And we're not scared of it until they show you that real life image and you and everyone else is terrified. The people in the show are terrified of it. I was thinking about the pizza episode from Jimmy Neutron. Do you know the one I'm talking about? They may I haven't seen it. I do want to rewatch Jimmy Neutron because it's like they don't really do a lot of 3D animated shows. Like that one out of fashion, they then now it's all for uh, movies, which I'm kind of for, because I want 2D animations to still have a place. But there's like a th one where they do a sleepover, and a pizza comes to life, and it just like chases them down. And then at the end of the end of the day, you, uh, at the end of the episode, you find out the pizza was dream. They were dreaming the pizza, but the pizza was dreaming of them the entire time. Thanks, me. I hope to see you around soon. Thank you so much for the for the go donation. I cannot express how much that means to me <laughs> you legit just came in comes in here drops forty dollars ex doesn't explain any further leaves real giga chad giga chad meat can i say that is that okay to say you said it so <laughs> that doesn't mean it's okay to say but you say a lot of things that aren't okay to say so like what well well like, fr like fr free feet? Feet for free? Feet for free? Mm -hmm. Giga meat. Da -da -da. <laughs> you worried about Giga Chad meat? Yeah, well. Yeah! 
I got called a whore live on stream. Yeah, because it's your job title. I don't know what else. I don't know what you want me to. Professional whore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, would I not call a firefighter a firefighter? Like, what's happening here? Jesus, I think you need to respect sex workers. Like, I don't know what this stigma is. Clearly you have one. I think you need to work out some of your own hang-ups, Juice. I mean, are you okay, Deja? Like, you're fine, right? You're doing okay. I'm okay. Everyone else here is okay. You brought in the weird energy, Juice. I don't know what's up with you. So, good luck with that. I'm waiting for Juice to respond with a gun. <laughs> just... <laughs> I'll <laughs> block you, you better not. <laughs> Juice, I thought we were friends. Yeah, there you, there you go, lads. Perfect. <gasps> Wait a minute, I should give it... Sh Laz Streams. I should shout out Laz. Oh, wait. They also like Android 18, which is the correct choice. What is the thing you know? Um, Deja, you know about Dragon Ball Z, right? I know of it. Yeah. Uh, Android 18 is the super strong MILF on the show. So. Yeah. Laz, do you play uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z or no? I mean, Laz, you have to admit. That is also well. She's not super strong. I wish she was. Everyone wishes she was, but she stops being a fighter as soon as she starts being a fighter. So we can have our head cannons, but Toriyama. Toriyama is a good artist. Maybe could do better at writing women. I don't think that's a controversial take. I'm getting into it. I have always had a, a somewhat desire of getting into um, Fighter Z. As, as, not necessarily competitively. Maybe do a tournament here or there, but I'm not aiming to be number one. I like Piccolo. Let me be the Piccolo of Fighter Z. Deja, you see, Piccolo is black. That's the end of it. The end of the sentence. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Piccolo is like a. He basically looks like a stereotypical alien. Like he's green and he has like a little antenna. Um. And he's buff, like that. That's a, that's a good description of him. But everyone's like he's black coated, and a lot of Dragon Ball fans are like, "Yep, the Namekians." They're there because they're, it's a it's a lot. It's a lot. Dragon Ball Z is a lot, honestly. I'm not gonna say what's in my head. What's but... in, but... <laughs> We're not going to repeat what they just said, but I wouldn't have censored it if they had chosen to say it. Like, now that you've stopped yourself, I'm not going to be like, say it, say it, say it live on camera. So, yeah, but he's great. So, lots of people love Piccolo. I love, he's my favorite character. It's not like, I just love Piccolo. Do it, we won't tell <laughs> Deja, don't. I'm gonna see that like that joke floating around in like a message somewhere, and I'll be like, Deja, how'd you like write it out and send it to him? Piccolo is great. Piccolo. That's why, I, cause like, I do love Krillin, and rewatching some Dragon Ball, I realize like, Krillin tends to be the one actually moving the plot, as Goku is like, I don't know, fucking dead or whatever. He's dead a lot. Um, <laughs> You could probably send it to Juice and they'd laugh their ass off, so... <laughs> but, um... Goku's dead a lot. And Krillin is like, I'm gonna I'm gonna go fucking actually do something, Goku. And in, like, the Frieza and Cell Saga, Krillin is the one, like, hauling ass and everything. But Piccolo, when it comes to fighters, Piccolo is, like, one of the best non-saying combatants the main cast has, which is why I appreciate him so much. And I'd love Tien, but he has one good moment at the end of Z. And then Toriyama fucking sidelines him. 
ESPN is underrated by the creator of the show, which is the problem. <laughs> so. My problem isn't not enough people in the fan base love TM. My problem is the fucking creator of Dragon Ball doesn't love TM. Same hat, same hat. So. Deja got bored talking about Dragon Ball. I see how it is, Deja. I see how it is. Honestly, I like... Because that's the thing, right? Because... Deja, do you mind if I say something you said to me? Not too long, when you were talking about, like, us hanging out and stuff. After, like, everything. After pressure. Okay. Because Deja's like, yeah, I feel a lot of pressure from other people these days. And I don't feel pressure from you. And I'm like... You shouldn't feel pressure from me. But... Oh my goodness! Max is raiding with a party of ten! Max! Max! Is the, is the alert not playing? Is it playing but not showing the alert? Because, let me try replaying it. I was in stream elements. <gasps> Hi, Max. Max, you're the best. Juice, can you give a shout out to Max? Thank you. Gunfire Reborn, how was that? Let me see if I can replay the, the alert and see if it plays. It should play. No, it just doesn't have a sound. Whoops, well, I gotta find a sound for that. A coochie tingle. Yeah, Deja, your your coochie sense be tingling. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> that's the first thing you say. I don't have a spidey sense. I have a coochie and, sense. Yeah, apparently that's what lesbians get. Oh my goodness, smoothie. It was from a tweet. You want me to read the full tweet? Uh, sure, J Deja, read the coochie <clears throat> tweet for our new raiders. Something about Zendaya wearing a pantsuit while in a wide stance really makes my coochie tingle. It makes my coochie tingle, too. I'm not going to lie, like, Zendaya wasn't a childhood crush of mine, so. <laughs> anyway, hello, everyone. I'm assuming Gunfire Reborn is a, is a, uh, fucking, is a co-op game. I appreciate y'all being here. Welcome to Coochie Tingling. Me and Deja are drawing, I'm going to punch you. <laughs> Me and Deja... You good, you good. Uh, like, to re can I retreat through Twitter? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and read. Are you retreating what Deja is talking about? Because <laughs> that's not great. But but I hope you're doing well. Me and Deja are drawing um, that the, the superhero everyone's talking about right now. The one from the new big animated project. The uh, Superman. I'm very, we, we did also just see Across the Spider-Verse, but we will not be talking about or spoiling it at all. I'm legitimately just excited for Pixie Cut Lois Lane. And yeah, we had we had we had a monthly goal we were trying to meet, uh, and now it got met like very early on in stream. So y'all don't even have to worry about that. Just sit back and listen to some Zelda music as I we draw some Superman. Talk about Piccolo being black. Talk about coochies tingling. I'm going, you should be, you should be, I mean, you shouldn't be slapped, but the person who tweeted that should be slapped. We're not saying that on, it wasn't bad, but topical. <laughs> I hope everyone's doing well. We have talked about how, you know, there's some wild things happening in the world right now, but I hope everyone in general is just having a great old, grand old time out there. Staying safe, staying indoors. Hey, go watch some good animated content. I'm an animator. I like good animated content. There's a, there's a few of it now. Piccolo makes some people's coochie tingle. I'm not gonna lie. Who does his voice? Chris Sabat? Yeah, I get it. Because, yeah. <laughs> I, I... I'd have sex with Piccolo. He doesn't... Act, the thing is, Piccolo doesn't have any genitalia. He's technically a slug person. He is asexual. So, with that in mind, yeah, I'd smooch Piccolo. I'd, I'd do things to Piccolo. So, I hope everyone who joined with those raids can relate to that, or else I've created a very alienating stream right now. Did you move it again? What? No, sorry. I'm looking at it for myself. I hope you Gunfire Reborn. Share. What? Damn. If I can convince anyone in that raid to come back at some point, my next stream is going to be Sekiro. Do you have a coochie? 
we really need to stop talking about coochie. My next what you is got against coochie? <laughs> I have nothing against it. It's just a word. Grow a strap like an arm. I hate that you're right. I hate that you said that. That you're right, lads. But um. But yeah, do art, do Sekiro. Max was actually the one who caused me to play Sekiro and 100% it, because they are incredibly, you know, nice to their donations. Calm down. You could, you can try. You can try. Um, you want to know something? Days is non-binary. Max are non-binary. The non-binary people in my life. Cream of the crop. Cre cre creme, creme de la creme. I don't think that's what that means. Do you know French? Oh, so you're non-binary and French? One of those is an abomination, and it's not the non-binary. The France. Does <laughs> not include me? Juice, if I'm going- if I- if I'm being real, I never know what I- Juice, if I'm being real, I've been unsure for a minute now. I just respect what pronouns you give me. <laughs> <laughs> I just think of you as Juice, my good friend Juice. I, I'm the guy from the interview who, when they're like, how many genders are there? And he's like, I don't know, I just got here. That, that's me. Yeah, I'll just tell me. I have a, I have a pronouns or my, I don't need it for juice, but for anyone else who came in. Pronoun reminder in, in, as a very cheap reward, uh, redeem. Because, you know. At least three, at least three. Oh, gosh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh yeah, I will say one thing because this is very. I love this. Let me be clear about something because I told Deja this while we were watching the movie. The original Spider Woman's design is not good. I don't like it. I don't like how her costume looks. Spider Gwen looks amazing, and as people have pointed out after the movie has come out, uh, she's basically just wearing the trans flag. Good for her. <laughs> good for her. Good for her. Wow. These bitches trans. <laughs> good for them. Good for them. Thank you, Sonic. Never forget Sonic is an ally. <gasps> they announced a new Sonic game. I just remembered they announced a new 2D Sonic. I yelled that at Deja when we were in the car. You almost punched out my window. I did. I was excited. It looks so cute. Deja, do you not... Deja, you should have a lot of love for Sonic. He's the origin of... Put those grippers away! Deja quotes that all the time. Feet? For free? <laughs> you need a... I... <laughs> uh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake bringing you on stream. Don't you always? Mm. I'm a joy. You're a joy? I'm a joy. You're a joy. Talk about coochie. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm getting banned from Twitch. I'm glad- well, I mean, hey, at least I don't have to worry about my viewer count. It's zero. It's zero right now. You're welcome. No one's watching this. You're welcome. No one's watching this. You're welcome. What am I welcome for, huh? I have a song in my head, but I'm not gonna sing it out loud. No, you better not. If it's any- if it's anything related to what we've been talking about. It's pretty bad. I am no one. <laughs> Captain Nemo? Can I just say, me and Deja went to Disneyland together not too long ago. We went on the submarine ride. I've heard a lot of people shit on that ride. I, I love that ride. I love that. And the reason I was thinking about it is because, okay, listen, so my brain runs at a million miles per hour, and it, it's always branching off into new things. So, Laz said they were no water, and that reminded me of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which is my favorite book, because the, one of the main characters of that book is called Captain Nemo, which is Latin for Captain No One. The submarine ride in Disneyland was originally based on their adaptation of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which is what made me think of it, because I did enjoy the ride. Do you understand, Deja? Yeah. Sick. Because I don't. If y'all never read some Jules Verne, give them a try. I like, I like, I like me a Jules Verne novel. 
You know what? Because we were talking about this earlier. You know, one of the things that really got me out of reading when I was when I was younger. You remember the Hunger Games, Deja? Yeah. Remember how that came out and then everyone was trying to do the Hunger Games forever and ever and ever. Yeah. When you walk into the bookstore and it's just one book, you don't really feel like reading it, do you? Hmm. That's how I felt. My friend forced me to read that series. What, the Hunger Games? Yeah. Did you like it? It was alright. It was alright. I think it kind of lost me on the third one, but... Yeah, third one's kind of a mess. This pet textbook in front of me. I, I mean, I have... So... Let's see, the books I have on my desk right now, besides the at the very bottom, I'm just going to count the top. Because on top of the top ones are a bunch of Batman comics about Cassandra Kane. If y'all don't know Cassandra Kane, look her up. She's great. Look at her costume page. It's cool. And then I have uh, Jules Verne, The Mysterious Island, which I love. Uh, and then Tales of Norse Mythology, because I do like me some Norse Mythology. They just reel into, what's it called? Freya from God of War, which isn't a surprise because they're a lesbian, so like. Am I wrong? I don't have anything to say to that. You don't have anything to say to that? <laughs> is there, is there, because there's definitely gods of lesbians in Greek culture. Is there gods of lesbians in Norse culture? Or were they just so much about fighting? They were like, no time. No time for gay love. Or straight love. Only fighting. I believe I heard at one... Isn't it a joke in the Thor movie that he's the god of fertility, apparently? Which is wild. Hammers, lightning, and fertility, huh? That's one guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I need to work... Here's the thing. I need to work on my own cartoon a bit. Because there will be of mythology in it but um i got like commissions and everything actually which is surprising i don't always have commissions sometimes my inbox is just sleepy no one no one's hitting me up so i thought you like i deja out of the corner of my eye i saw i saw you like grin and you know how you grin and like you have a, oh, something awful to, yeah <laughs> Like something awful to say, just something very bad that no. you like to announce that you have to say. I was doing a grin and awe. You're in an awe of what? Of you. So sweet of you. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you get nice? <laughs> I want to draw the ass. I have a lot of more body to do, but. You're just mesmerized by your process. Mm, I didn't. I just go back and forth. Deja, am I a good artist? Yeah. Actually? Yeah. For real? Uh-huh. Oh. Thanks, Deja. Give him the cool S. I mean, there's a lot. I do love me the Kingdom Come one, but I'm just going to give him. Because like I said, the one I know is from the animated series, and this is... I found this drawing, and I was really... I really got into Pig! it. Pig! <gasps> Pig is here! <laughs> oh my goodness! Pig and friends, so many cool people here today. I appreciate y'all. Okay, I will move over. Deja is here. <laughs> but anyway, I found this is a drawing by Bruce Tim, who was like the art director for the DCAU. And, um, like, I feel like this is one of the more realistic depictions of that Superman. So I saved it as reference. Because, I mean, Bruce Tim only knew it. Have you seen the animated content, Deja? Like the classic animated shows? No. Okay. He knew how to drew two body types boy and girl girl boys were bride girls were uh pin up basically that was that was it that was all of it so and i mean he made like seven animated shows doing that did you ever watch static shock as a kid or no you asked me about that have i yes oh damn um I was just bringing it up because, like, that is technically part of the animated universe, but it does not share the art style. I'm trying to think if there's any other ones that were technically connected. Four kids love their crossovers. They don't do crossovers anymore. Where's my amphibian Owl House crossover, damn it? 
I didn't watch Amphibia. Did you, Deja? No. Did you watch Owl House? Yeah. I didn't finish. <laughs> Hold on. That was, I needed to clarify because I was like, that's not why I'm asking. But there, but there, juice goes again. <laughs> assuming things. <laughs> juice, you really need to start being introspective about yourself, okay? Static Shock is great. They did have an entire episode where the best friend's dad ended up being racist, so that's cool. I remember that, but wasn't there, because the premise of Static Shock, I'm blocking you tonight. No! Jesus, come back! Because wasn't the pre because the premise of Static Shock, if I remember correctly, is that there was like some a chemical leak basically, and Static and a bunch of other people in his city got uh, got superpowers, and I think like the dad was like, I do not like these superpowered people, and I remember that because like you know he was all, he was in that episode with real life bigotry. I was like. But you, you also don't like this. You, I'm just saying, they had the metaphor for it, and then they had the the real-life version in it. Which is interesting. I might be misremembering, though. Who could tell? Static's cool, though. They they gave him a grown-up design in a, future ver in a future episode of uh, Justice League, which was great. I love me and my superheroes. No, I don't believe it. Believe it. Data bio. Did you have you ever watched any Naruto? No. Do you want to? Not really. Why not? Do you, are you saying you hate everyone who's ever watched Naruto, Deja? Wow. Yeah, I said that. You said that? <laughs> you said that? <laughs> you said that live on stream. <laughs> to be fair, I passed up multiple times to watch Naruto. So. That being said, I know one thing, which is one of the big... Naruto. I know, I, that's my superpower. To be white? Yeah, to be to say things in the whitest way possible without trying. This what are you laughing about? Racism? Because <laughs> <laughs> I was about to be like, I was being by a radioactive white guy. <laughs> <laughs> And now I can't say tortilla correctly. <laughs> I'm just trapped in Wisconsin in my mind forever. Uh, none of this is usable. We all we all have to roll it back. Like coochie tingle? <laughs> is that worse or is this worse? I feel like your white man is worse. <laughs> Oh, that's a thing, you know. I do think the Spider-Verse thing is cool. Um, oh yeah, we lost viewers because of that. I was like, I gotta check, come on. But anyway, I feel like the Spider-Verse thing is cool where they um, repeat the origin story, which is, that was in the first movie, which is why I'm saying it. Like, they repeat the origin story, because it just kind of, um, was a thing, you know. It's just kind of hammering home how superhero comics and stories work same thing over and over again you hear the whole origin story so much you know it, no no you know it by heart at one point so i do think that's very much on purpose Deja, are you my friend yeah sick I just want to make sure. In the middle of the stream? Yeah. Is there a problem? What if I said no? What would you do? That'd be very sad. You know that... What well, I was thinking of. You know that one thing? The clip from BuzzFeed Unsolved? It's like, you're my friend! I'm 
trying to remember anything, really. How's that working out for you? Not great. Superman's fucking symbol is hard. What even is this? There was a time where it was just fucking... That was it. <laughs> and honestly, they should have stuck with that super easy. Fucking... I, for, I forget which... There's Jerry Siegel and Joe Suster. I forget who was the artist and who was the writer. But one of them was just like, Superman. He's got a stop sign and an S on his chest. That's all we need. But then someone in like, I guess the 50s was like, no, make it more marketable. Oh wait, I need to, yeah, there we go. You should have left it there. What? Super nipple? Mm -hmm. Got a you... Daisy, you know how like old timey people used to say stuff like Great Caesar's Ghost and everything? Great Caesar's Ghost. Have you never heard that before? No. Well, there was a co when I went to a comic con one time, there was an old. Someone said that. Yeah. Well, no. There was a there was a Superman comic, and on the cover, Superman's editor, Perry, was like behind his desk. And it was like Great Caesar's Ghost, and it was actually a ghost of Julius Caesar, and Superman was flying in the window, being like, "You're right, it is," and that was it. That was the cover. <coughs> And that was worth, that comic was like a hundred dollars to buy, probably because of the joke. I was gonna bring up a different comic thing, but it's about a comic I really do not like and don't think should be around really even. <laughs> so I'm not gonna say it. I'm just gonna, I'm going to ignore that for now. It's a pretty good ass. What? This one's a pretty good ass. Thanks. Really? Yeah. Aw. You mean it? You're my friend? There's a catchphrase for a long time. Holy copyright law, Batman! DC is stopping us! Holy coochie, Batman. There's whole new slang words in this new century. <laughs> For vagina. <laughs> Am I wrong, Daisy? Had to bring it back around. You, you wouldn't stop. You opened with it. And? <laughs> and? Andy? From Toy Story? Hey, don't don't you sigh don't you sigh at me I when I said that I was thinking about a thing I saw today where someone tried to yell about Andy at Woody at Disneyland I saw a video of and you Robin saw Bruce about slang I, I, the thing is, no, about OC. Well, here's the thing. Bruce is the world's greatest detective. Does Bruce like FNAF? He knows. Okay, <laughs> I guarantee you, everyone needs to stop. Because first off, Bruce knows every slang word for vagina in the world because, like, he knows all languages because that's like how you know he solves crimes. But also, he absolutely knows about FNAF because it's about children getting murdered, and if there's one thing he's trying to stop in Gotham, it's children getting murdered. If an arcade opens in Gotham, Bruce is looking for anyone who likes Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's in Gotham? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he, like, he, he is on, Bruce, the moment any arcade opens in fucking Gotham, 
Bruce is like on the back computer tying and like scan Five Nights at Freddy Forum post and like he is he has a watch list for it. Can I write an <laughs> AU about that? Yeah, but, yeah. it's not a, That's the problem. It's not an AU. That would just be any uh, Batman. If DC has the rights to it, they would they would do it. <laughs> Like, there's too many themed killers, and I do mean it because when you get down to it, like Long Halloween, which is a classic Batman story, like, you know, Calendar Man? Have you seen him as a Jit Gag villain? They make him like a serial killer. They make him, what's the guy from Silence of the Lambs who's in prison? Hannibal? Hannibal, yeah. They make him Hannibal. Like, he is just a different holiday themed serial killer that they are using to catch another one. So it's basically Silence of the Lambs. I should have stopped at Silence of the Lambs, is what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. When you take away the campiness, all you have left is a bunch of serial killers in Gotham who have different weird themes to them. So Batman is almost always definitely monitoring different themed killers, even if they're in fiction or real life. Doesn't eat people. He could. <laughs> if, there, if there's a National Cannibalism Awareness Day, Calendar Man would eat someone on it. That's his thing. He is a criminal who res who is obsessed with dates. I'm n no one look up National Cannibalism Awareness Day. That one ep there's do you remember that one episode of uh was that a random one or were they actually talking about someone? Cuz what would about I don't know what's let, let me look up what's today's holidays? I can't believe I made money during this stream. I should be in prison. Today is the holidays. What is today? Is National Best Friends Day. He would kill us today. Cal oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> you should be in prison. It's your fault. We've talked about this kind of stuff today, Deja. <laughs> Calendar Man would be like stitching people together in the streets. For National ba Best Friends Day. You sent me a post as I'm streaming. Yeah, hey, what about mm -hmm. it? I didn't want to interrupt, but I need you to see that. Okay. <laughs> National Karen Day. Calendar Man would be like in stores stabbing people complaining. And like, listen, he's not completely wrong about that one. But he still shouldn't be doing it. National, yeah, that's what I was looking at. Hate it, Cam. Hey, Jews, I'm gonna ask you this at the end of the stream anyway, so that, should, so I'll, I might as well ask you now. Is any of this usable? Like, should I delete this stream from? Should I nuke it from orbit? Just like that was. The, Deja was. You asked that last time I was on. I think it's me. I think it's <laughs> <laughs> you. I was gonna say, um, Deja was scrolling online, and Deja follows a lot of drag queens, and I. This is fucking hilarious. I want to say, drag queens are wonderful. We went to drag con. It was great. I love drag queens. Their makeup can terrify me. And I've told this to Juice. Uh, unless you think it's off-brand. It's not off-brand. I'm an insane person. That's my brand. I, I, right? If you look at my PNG tuber, it's like, you know, static and everything. I should have it glitch. Because that's what my brain is like. Like Spider-Verse? Yeah, exactly. Like Spider-Verse. Spider-Man! Spider-Man! But anyway. Well, we did then. Um... But anyway, I found that, and I'm not the only one, because people say this in different ways, like, makeup will scare them. Drag queen makeup, some of it, not all of it, some of it, it's like natural camouflage to me. Like Trixie Mattel. I adore Trixie Mattel. She's amazing. The first time I saw her makeup, I had a fight or flight response. You know the dinosaur from Jurassic Park? The one that, like, <laughs> like the fins come out and everything? That's what her eyes are doing to me all the time. She's great. I adore her. She's talented. She's a musician. Amazing. Her makeup makes me think that I'm in trouble. My, it, it speaks to my lizard brain and says, Predator, run away. <laughs> she's going to eat you. But in reality, she's like a caterpillar who's just trying to scare me off. So, Have you seen those caterpillars that like... Ian sent me something. Have you seen those caterpillars that look like snakes? Or no? No. I should, let me show you that. Caterpillar who is snake. 
I love the caterpillars that are that Caterpie, the Pokemon, is based off of. Because it just has the little antenna, and it's so cute. Looks like a snake. Yeah, see? I don't like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think that is, I think that is its butt. I can't tell. It might be its head, but it's not a snake head. It, it is also funny, though, because it's like a quarter of a snake. It's not, it's not very long. It's not, it's not snake length. You know, some... <laughs> murder me? Okay, I have to think of it. Murder that pussy! I'm gonna... This is why you need to be in prison. Stop saying these things on my stream. <laughs> Okay, I think I actually have one. Ready? Dear the Potter, de ugh. I need to have it clippable for, for their tombstones. <laughs> Dear departed lads who loved the androids till they actually met one and were completely destroyed. That that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was just saying, not just saying. It was like an hour ago. Haunted Mansion is Deja's aesthetic. Deja, would Slutty you? Bloody Haunted Mansion. Oh my goodness. Would you play Madame Leota in a, in a Haunted Mansion adaptation, a third one? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be in a crystal ball. You'll be in a crystal ball? Saying coochie? Coochie! Your coochie will tingle when you I, set eyes on Zendaya. I've got a... <laughs> <laughs> this is a, you can't just say stuff from Twitter, Deja, because Twitter is awful, and you're just repeating it on my stream, so it's awful. <laughs> Coochie bandit. <laughs> what is it thinking of? I'm trying to. <laughs> Cup of a bra, strap of a thong, bring us some coochie from somewhere beyond. <laughs> Let them cook. Let them cook now. <laughs> that was a haunted mansion rhyme for free. <laughs> this is what this is it's a good thing Onsta is ace because like they're they're chaotic like this on their streams but they don't talk about Coochie. They don't say that. They just talk about I mean they do talk about Kiryu's titties, but those are different. I want to talk about things I love, yeah. which is cushion. <laughs> have you ever played Yakuza before, days? I mean, have you ever seen Yakuza? I've seen it, yes. Are you interested in it? I don't know. I don't know. You like sleeping dogs, don't you? I do. Is that not similar? I mean, yeah, people have said it, but I feel like when I watch... You just got something different. Yeah, it was different vibes. Yeah. Different vibes. I've been tempted, because Deja likes... Breath of the Wild and just Breath of the Wild, they have not gotten, um, what's it called? Tears of the Kingdom yet. They like it just for hunting animals, and I've been tempted to tell them to get Elden Ring because you can do something very similar in Elden Ring where you just run around a field killing everything in the field. So, for that reason alone, they probably like that. Deja, do you think Superman would be proud of the things you're saying on stream right now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, I think you would say coochie to Superman and he would blush. You know? I, he, he, you made he, my coochie take him <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you said that to him after he saved you, he would like blush and not know. Like, he wouldn't be mad at you. He'd just be like, I don't know. I don't, I don't fucking know what to do about this. <laughs> we ain't in Kansas anymore. <laughs> don't. What? Don't say anything. <laughs> Just stop. Mm. 
Stop ruining my stream, Deja. Yes, I've made the most money and had the most viewers I've had in the entire year in this one stream alone. But still, no, yeah. Had a chaotic vibe. Exactly, the chaos vibes. Chaos, control. Does Shadow the Hedgehog make your coochie tingle, Deja? No. Shadow does. I said Shadow. Oh, you said Shadow. I said I Shadow. Thought you said Sonic. No. No. No one wants Sonic. Everyone wants Shadow. Let me be clear about something. Just, I'm just thinking about other streamers in the community, and comparing this content to theirs. And uh, well, Onsta doesn't get here. I do think Barry does when he does co-op. Like, his friends will get to this place, and he will just go silent. Like, he just let let them cook now. I let Shadow... Oh, my lord. I should ban Laz. Laz, Mercy. you get a one-time... No. L Laz gets a one-time pass. I will... can shred my... Uh, <laughs> I will tie you up and put you in the trunk of the car, Deja. <laughs> Covering your mouth now. <laughs> My lord! <laughs> I'm just vibing. <laughs> you know what, there's a- I've listened to some calming Nintendo music for a while. Like, Lord in Heaven. Exactly. What's this from? Oh, uh, Legend of Zelda. It's all Legend of Zelda. Laz might be right, they shouldn't say it. What was I thinking? Deja, have you seen any gameplay from like other Legend of Zeldas you'd want to try? Or no? No. No. Just Breath of the Wild. I I don't even know what that's a pun on, Laz. I'm just I'm so tired. I'll be coming. I'm going to <laughs> into the car with you. Into the car with you. <laughs> it's car time. <laughs> the music went down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, probably because I turned. Yeah. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain, she'll be coming around the mountain, she'll be Probably turned it up to get <laughs> to quiet out Deja. Let me. Let me. Okay, yeah. That's my bad. I'm trying to get better at audio mixing. And one thing I was trying to do. Let me... There. How'd you begin? Well, no one said anything. This is how I squander raids. This is how I squander raids by just driving everyone away with bad audio mis mixing and even worse, you know, conversations. There he is. Why? Honestly, you want to know something? Shy guys kind of sound like bunnies. I said anything. You did. I'm just worried, like, I turned it up and then no one said anything. 
and it was like that for a while. I don't. I'm, I apologize, Laz. I apologize for Daisy's behavior today. And, and don't apologize. Am I everything? Look at them titties. Yeah. Big old titties. I don't know if he's. I don't know if fucking Superman is a bear, but he sure is barrel chested. So. Two shotgun barrels. Honestly. I think that's something that makes me mad when people say Superman is a boring character. Because everyone loves my... Not... Okay. Let me back this up. Not everyone loves My Hero Academia. A lot of people like it. And a lot of people like All Might. And All Might isn't a parody of Superman. He's just Superman. And like, I, I like to imagine... I want to see an adaptation of Superman that does the thing All Might does. Because have you ever seen... Because basically there's skinny All Might. Where he's like not being a superhero hero and he just looks depressed. And then, like, when he's a superhero, he buffs up and everything. Are you looking it up right now? Mm -hmm. Look up, like, All Might 2 forms. <laughs> Depressed Small Might and Buff Might. Also, Superman can be... Funny. It just kind of... Again, it depends on the adaptation. Oh, that guy? Yes. That's him when he's not being a superhero. That's him when he's being a superhero. So, that's what I'm saying. That's what Superman should do. That's Clark Kent. That's Superman. But yeah, that's what makes Superman so interesting to me. Because at the heart of the character, like, at his... Me in my day-to-day, -day, me at the gym. Oh my goodness. <laughs> is, like, something really cool and interesting. Well, not... Yeah, interesting. Like, you know, there's a real heart to it. But there's been so many adaptations and stuff that sometimes it can get lost in the different ways he's been portrayed. Like, Pig's favorite Superman story, not to speak on behalf of him, but he said it many times, is Red Sun, which is not like... Red Hood? No. It's where Superman and, and is raised in communist Russia during the Cold War. And like, that's fine. Because at the end of the... Because Pig has even said, it's a Superman who's trying to do good, but just is kind of going about it the wrong ways but still I think it speaks to like Miguel no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we could argue how well Miguel's doing but yeah I'm, I've said it many times I'm tired of the evil Superman trope one of my least favorite tropes in all the media fully fully tired of it if I see one more evil Superman <laughs> You're evil Superman. He's evil Superman. How many super evil Superman are there? I'm leaving. You're like bringing it around the rosy. I'm jamming. Bring it around town. This is why I put it on you. Jingled the keys, Deja. <laughs> keys. With a toddler. Honestly. But you're cute. <laughs> Hold this baby. Maybe I should. How much black do we add to it? I like... All the black. I like... <laughs> okay, just give me a... There we go. <laughs> ah, art. I do love me black and white art. It's some of my favorite. But Dej is a painter and uses pigments. I don't know about all that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Hold on a minute. I feel like calling me a painter is very far fetched. Mm. <laughs> I saw. A, I say that as I created an incredible <laughs> painting last You've done semester. some great, yeah, you've done some <laughs> great paintings recently. Uh, I did see one, uh, like a TikTok relating to painting that did make me remember the days in college where it was like your painting teacher when you use black instead of, <laughs> instead of mixing 6,000 colors to get near black. <laughs> 
I took intro to painting, my, my teacher didn't let us use it at all. I, I legitimately think working with a limited color palette is both... It's not... I was gonna say it's easier. It's not easier. Like, you might have less colors to worry about, but it doesn't mean making the image is easier. Mm -hmm. But I think it's infinitely more interesting. I feel so. like I always use a limited palette. Yeah. And I'm not being lazy because I'm saying, like, no. Don't use a bunch of colors. Use, like, three and make something out of it. I also feel like I do it because I feel like I'm better than you, but... Damn. <laughs> Gotta give yourself a handicap. Oh, are you super? Are you Superman? You always gotta give you, you yourself a handicap for everyone else's benefit. I see. Yeah. Reminds me, I need to watch a bright bird. No, you don't, Laz. No, you do not. <laughs> I will say one of my favorite Superman quotes from the animated show, obviously, because I talked about how much I like it, and it's um, I feel like it gets kind of misquoted a lot because it's Superman he's like I feel like I'm living in a world made of cardboard and I feel like people think it's him trying to like brag or intimidate someone but he's talking he's talking to Darkseid in that exchange and if you know anything about Darkseid he's like the biggest baddest strongest evil guy there is in DC so Superman is literally being like I do not care if you hurt if I hurt you you deserve it and I think that's cool. Superman is being like, I am, I try to be pretty cool with everyone and not hurt anyone that much, but you I don't care about because you are that awful. It is Superman standing up for people who cannot stand up for themselves, which is great. Because literally the moment before, um, that exchange he's talking about the rest of the justice league and how strong willed they are and he's like i am not like that i am just strong physically which is a completely different issue so good superman is good At the end of the day, I think the highs of superheroes end up being so much, end up outweighing the lows so much more, which is why I end up liking superheroes so much. Whereas some people just see it as one platter deal all mixed in with each other. So. I almost said something chaotic. Please don't. We've had enough of that tonight. We've calmed down a little bit. It's why I put the headphones on you. Deja, go watch Coco Melon. Go watch Coco Melon on your iPad, Deja. We'll be at Nana soon, okay? Also, Oswald was doing some bops just a minute ago. He was flopping around. He was like, I'm having a good time with my friends next to me. He's playing with his little, his little bells. I should end stream Crush there. me with them big old thighs. Okay, we're gonna end stream. <laughs> we're gonna... You know what? It's actually... I need to get Deja down for bed now that I think oh about it. Oh my god. And you know what? No, now that I think about it, I need to get Deja down for bed. Uh, who should we raid, chat? Legit, I just don't want to keep Deja till the end of the night. Big old thighs. I'm going to... Crush me with them big old thighs. <laughs> going to... 
wanna be crush and then big old thighs. Let's see. I am going to raid. Raid them big old I'm going, thighs. That's it. They're just gonna go to sleep now. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna rate Lythero, because I've been watching his highlights recently, and I would I, I would like to, you know, uh, I'd like to go ahead and work on that. Get out of here! Hey. I appreciate y'all for staying. You wanna hear Big Old Thighs anymore? No. Uh, I'm gonna make a song about Big Old Thighs. Our next stream and will be on stream, Sunday. I'll come, I'll come in and I'll sing about it. Our next stream will be Sunday, and I'll be, you know, was a thing to get up. Uh, I'll be doing some Sekiro. We're gonna be doing some Sekiro challenge and what not next. So, what yeah. not? What not next? So I hope to see y'all there. I apologize for Deja once again. <laughs> Don't apologize uh, for see me. See you then. Uh, bye.